Chapter 6 focus on percents and their applications. We're going to look at conversions. How do I convert decimals over to percentages, including round those percentages to the nearest hundredth? How do I convert decimals and fractions to percentages? and convert percents over to fractions. So we'll focus on these different types of conversions here in chapter six. So you ready? Let's go. Here we have one of my favorite snacks, M&Ms. Like M&Ms? Me too. So we have a bag that has a total of 55 M&Ms inside the bag. And there's different colors of M&Ms, yellow, Red, blue, my favorite, orange, brown, and green. The top number is showing how many M&Ms we have of each color. Recall that there's a total of 55 M&Ms in the bag. So for a fraction, we'll take the number of M&Ms of that color divided by the total number of M&Ms in the bag. To go from a fraction to a decimal, we're going to divide, in this case, 55 into 18, and that would give us 0.33 as a decimal rounded to the nearest hundred. To go from a decimal to a percentage, we move the decimal spot two spaces to the right, and we add the percent sign. So this 30.33 as a decimal is the number round to the nearest per hundred. But the percent is carried out a little bit farther. So actually 18 divided by 55 is 0.3273, which is round here to the nearest hundred. So as a percent, when I move the decimal two spaces to the right, it is shown as 32.73%. So for each color, we're showing the number as a fraction, as a decimal, and as a percentage. Now when you add these all together, it would give you one or 100%. This is saying that the total of 55 M&Ms in this bag, and again, it's showing each color as a fraction, as a decimal and as a percentage. So when you have the task of converting decimals over to percentage, move the decimals point over two places to the right. Basically what we're doing is we're multiplying by 100 and if necessary we're going to add in two zeros. For example, 0.49 as a decimal becomes 49% by moving the decimal sign two spaces to the right and then adding your percent. So what if you just had eight as a decimal? So when you have eight as a decimal, this is really eight point, meaning the decimal is behind the eight. So to convert eight to a percentage, we're going to move the decimal two spaces to the right, and we have to actually add in two zeros. So eight as a decimal is the same as 800%, okay? Rounding percentages. So with the M&Ms, with, with the first color, we had 18 over 55 as a fraction, or 18 over 55 as a percent. We see that if you divide 55 to 18 and carry it out as a number, as a decimal, it gives you 0.3272727. So when we round that number, depending upon how far I say it to carry it out, in this case, if we want to carry it out to the fourth location, you look at the number. So right now we're focused on the two. We want to carry it out four spaces behind the decimal. So what happens here is we're going to take a look at the number behind it. 
in this case the seven highlight like the seven if this number is five or higher this two now becomes a three when you do the rounding if this number is four or lower it stays as a two so because this number is a seven we take that as 0.3273 if you're going to round that to the four spot behind the per, behind the decimal and 3273 as a decimal when you move the decimal sign to space to the right becomes 32.73 percent okay so again if you divide 55 into 18 that gives you 0.3272727. We're trying to round, in this case, to the fourth space behind the decimal. So you, you focus on the number behind the decimal being the seven. If this number, again, is five or higher, we're going to round up. If it is four or lower, that number remains as a two. So again, just showing the steps, you divide 55 into 18, that gives you the point three two seven two seven two seven. When we decide that we're going to round it to the, are we going to round to the fourth space behind the decimal? You focus on the number behind that, so it becomes point three two seven three, three two point seven three, as a to, to, to come from a decimal to a percent. I'm sorry. You move the decimal two spaces to the right. And that becomes 32.73 as a percent. Convert percent to decimal. So now you're going the other way. To go from a percent to a decimal, you're going to drop the percent symbol and then the decimals point two places to the left. So again, drop the percent symbol and move the decimal two spaces to the left. So 54.5% is 54.5 once you remove the percent sign, then move the decimal two spaces to the left, and that becomes 0 0.545. 824.4%, again, first you're going to drop the percent sign, then move your decimal two spaces to the left, and it becomes 8.244 as a decimal. So to change it from a percent to a decimal, first drop the percent sign and move your decimal two spaces to the left. What about converting fractions percent over to a decimal? In order to do that, one for, for example, if you have one-fourth as a percent, first we're going to, again, move the percent sign and make it one over four, then divide four into one, and that becomes 0.25. So one-fourth as a percent is one over four as a fraction, and to change from fraction to a decimal, we're going to make that become 0.25. Now, this is going to be 0.25, and remember that in order to go from a percent over to a decimal, you're going to move the decimal two spaces over, and that becomes 0 0.0025. So one-fourth percent becomes 0 0.0025 as a decimal. What if you have seven and three fourth percent? Well, first we're going to take the four times the seven, which is 28, add the three, that becomes 31 divided by four as a percent. When you divide 31, four into 31, that gives you 7.75. Now remember, once again, to go from a percent to a decimal, you're going to move the decimal two spaces over to the right. So 7 and 3 fourth percent is 0 0.0775 as a decimal. So what if I just have 3 fourth, converting fractions over to a percentage? 
So 3 fourth equals 0.75 as a decimal. To go from a decimal to a percentage, you move the decimal two spaces over to the right again, and that becomes 75%. So what if you have one-fifth as a fraction? Well, first convert that fraction over to a decimal. One over five is the same as 0 0.20. To go from a decimal to a percent, you move the decimal two spaces over to the right and add your percent sign, and that becomes 20%. Convert whole numbers over to a fraction. So if I have 156%, once again, we're going to drop the percent sign and make that 156. And then we're going to multiply the number by 1 over 100. And that would give us 156 over 100. Now, if I divide 100 into 156, 100 goes to 156 one time, which gives me the whole number 1. 56 is going to be the remainder. I want to convert this 56 over 100 into its lowest term. Meaning you're as, asking yourself, which number can I divide into both of these numbers an equal amount of time? Well, I can divide 4 into 56, and I can divide 4 into 100. And that would give me 14 over 25 in its lowest term. If I have 1 8 as a percent, Again, take 1 a times 1 over 100, and that will give you 1 over 800. Converting percent over to decimal. So what if I have 12 and 1 half percent? How does that become a decimal? Well, first, I want to change this to what we call an improper fraction, meaning that I want to multiply 2 times 12 which is 24, add the 1, and that becomes 25 over 2. Now, like we did before, I'll now take this 25 over 2, multiply times 1 over 100, that becomes 25 over 200. At this point, I want to get this number in its lowest terms, asking myself, what number can I divide into each equally? Well, they're both divisible by 25. 25 is 25, which is 1. 25 goes to 208 times. That becomes 1 over 8. So now what we're saying is 12 and 1 half percent. 1 half is the same as 0.5. So we could take a shortcut. We're doing the same things, and that would give us the same number. So if you know that 1 half is 0.5, you can put it as 0.5, and that would give us the same result. Okay? So that is the end of our first half of our lecture on percents. We're next going to look at the application side of rounding percentages when we have our different bases.